Your Excellency, Dr. Samuel, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, Cabinet Secretary for Lands and Public Works and Housing, Honorable Alice Wahome, other Cabinet Secretaries present, the World Bank Country Director, UN Resident Coordinator, Principal Secretaries present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is indeed a great honor for me to be part of this momentous launch of the second Kenya Urban Support Program, commonly known as KUSUP II. First, I consider this program a major milestone in our drive to build resilient cities and urban areas with enhanced quality of life for current and future generations. Secondly, let me take this early opportunity to sincerely thank you, Your Excellency, the President, for your leadership and resolve towards demand-driven programs which offer the opportunity to pursue long-term development strategies and interventions tailored to the specific needs of our residents and especially those at the bottom of the pyramid. This paradigm shift has the potential to transform Kenya's economic development trajectory significantly. The second Kenya Urban Support Program, CUSP II, builds on the foundation set by Phase I, CUSP I, which was rated as satisfactorily implemented by the World Bank. The first phase saw massive investments in urban infrastructure and services within the 59 benefiting municipalities in the 45 benefiting counties, which included 202 kilometers of roads improved, 171 kilometers of non-motorized transport, 192 kilometers of stormwater drainage, 31 kilometers of sewer line, 12 fire stations, 12 recreational facilities, and 16 retail markets, benefiting over 20,000 traders and creating over 200,000 jobs, amongst others. Your Excellency, Father, I wish to note that apart from the establishment of the 59 benefiting municipalities, county governments have been able to establish more municipalities. Today, we have 107 chartered municipalities. I also wish to let you know that during this program period, Nakuru Municipality was elevated to city status, and Eldoret and Thika Municipalities are currently in the process of being conferred the city status. Your Excellency, allow me to sincerely thank the Ministry of Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development for truly embracing Article 6.2 of the Constitution of Kenya, which calls for consultation and cooperation between the two levels of government during the design program. The Council was particularly impressed with the participation of county governments through the Lands and Housing and Urban Development Committee, led by His Excellency Professor Nyang Nyongo. The numerous meetings held between the committee and the program design team was a clear testimony of inclusive participation and collaboration. The launch today marks commencement of the implementation phase of the program. I would like to underscore that county governments and their urban institutions are committed to full implementation of the program. This will be guided by numerous lessons learned in KUSUP 1. Your Excellency, urban residents are the most affected by climate change due to poor planning, housing, and lack of basic infrastructure, which is resilient to the climate shocks. Programs like the Affordable Housing Program and the Kenya Urban Support Program will help address these challenges. We look forward to collaborating with the Affordable Housing Board to transform our urban areas. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I wish to note that rapid, rapid urbanization remains a global challenge, particularly in emerging countries like Kenya. To address this challenge, Your Excellency, there is need for dedicated financing of this expensive urban infrastructure and services. I therefore appeal for a dedicated urban financing model or fund from the exchequer complemented by development partners, the private sector, 
and indeed county government.